generally go get moving because the effect of exercise that it has on yourself is okay like today morning i was like i can't be asked i don't want to go out on a run i woke up at nine and i was like like i know what's ahead of me like i have to go to amsterdam for the whole day i was like i cannot be asked but even though even though i didn't run the whole time like i would take i would take breaks i would stop just going out for a run and moving your body and i'm not even there's different there's unlimited forms of exercise going to the gym kickboxing walking badminton cycling water sports whatever there's so many different forms of exercise and just moving your body not only serves your mental clarity it makes you feel better about yourself and your health like so many people don't prioritize their health and they prioritize different things the 40 minutes that you could be on social media you could be using that time to go and exercise and not only does it have insane implications on your health like physical health but it's even forget that just your mental health it makes you feel better about yourself as a person it makes you feel like you're actually going out and doing something and the whole excuses of oh i just don't have time i'm just tired i'm just that just say you aren't prioritizing that just say you'd rather be doing something else than that and that's an issue that's an issue you shouldn't you should prioritize your health you should prioritize how you feel on a daily basis because it has subconscious thoughts and connotations that you don't even realize you subconsciously feel more tired if you don't exercise you subconsciously feel more drowsier more lazier you feel like less confident about yourself because when you do consistently exercise and by consistently i mean not chasing perfection every single time you're obviously gonna have lows and bads but just dedicating time to yourself which so many people forget to do nowadays so many people are just like oh i have there's so many everyone has busy lives everyone's always constantly doing something but this is something that you should be dedicating your time to so find so if you don't know if you can find time make a list of everything you do every single day make a list of how, what you're doing just follow your day track your day and realize what are tasks that i'm doing that are worthwhile and what are tasks that i'm not and substitute your worthless tasks in which into something which is worthwhile which is exercise and remember there's different forms of exercise you don't have to be just going to the gym and going 100 percent in all the time just go out on a walk just think so we're constantly distracting ourselves in some kind of way either it's social media whether it's just picking up our phone and just scrolling on emails whether it's just playing games or just working like we're constantly trying to distract ourselves because it's hard to admit things to ourselves it's hard to admit that we're just unhealthy and later in life the implications just because you're feeling healthy now and just because and you're like okay like I don't, i'm not exercising right now but i feel perfectly fine does not mean that this is how it's going to be long term does not mean that there's not things going inside internally that you don't realize about so i'm gonna list down podcasts below that you should listen to about nutrition i listen to them when i'm walking i listen to them when i have time before bed and listen to these podcasts and educate yourself on why nutrition and exercise is so important for your mental state and your physical state like just so many people just completely implicate that just completely ignore that in their lives because for them it's not important but then it catches to them when they're older and it's never i'm not saying it's never too late to change but it's just better to start earlier so listen to the podcast i'm gonna link down below and exercise in some kind of way make time for it